Hello and welcome. This video shows a few examples of how to exchange and handing over documents and model uh, information using two different formats, one called IFC and another one called DWF. In this case I have a rivet model, a very simple house with a few elevations drawn and a section as well and my plans, elevations and so on are put on sheets looking something like this and after having done the export to IFC I'll get a 3D model looking something like this with a project browser over here where I can jump between um, the different levels created in my Revit project I can um, have it marking different primary building elements and I can also see that it um, takes out some quantities and information from um, the model. That was the first option. We notice we only have the 3D information available here. Um, I will also show you another technique using Autodesk Design Review and which is reading DWF formats which allows us to both have a um, 3D model in an Autodesk interface looking something like this where we can spin around it and so on but also include the sheets uh, looking something like this. I'll close down the program which are both uh, for free, free for download on Autodesk website as well as uh, on uh, Building Smart. You can Google Solibri Model Viewer, which is also a free program. Okay, I'll jump back to Revit and I'll show you how to make the IFC model. I'll go to the application menu, export, scroll down a little bit, save an IFC file, and in here I will um, name it test with IFC, I'll call it 2 because it's the second one and you also notice that there are some options of for instance splitting walls and columns by story which can uh, maybe be helpful for a contractor to know. I will save this, okay I'll jump to IFC, I will open a new model, common house, test with IFC, open and it reads it and it looks something like this. Okay, I'll jump back to Revit and now I would like to export parts of my model, meaning maybe the 3D view as well as um, the different plans that I put on sheets and elevations and uh, maybe my section. In order to do that I'll go to export, I'll choose DWF here, I will check mark my 3D view and um, my tree sheets which includes drawings, plan, elevation section. You might need to check uh, the export options here if it says current view only is of course only the view you have open so you, you might need to change it to in session views and sheets and say all views and sheets in the set. But this is my selection so far. I'll press next and before just uh, continuing, I'll name it DWF2 and very importantly um, you want to check your uh, naming here. If it's set to manual you're not able to combine them into one uh, DWF file so that means it'll be four separate files. So you might want to choose automatic, either short or um, long version of the name and make sure that it's checkmarked to combine selected views and sheets into a single DWF file. I will um, choose the long one so um, I have test with DWF2. I'll say OK. I'll wait for it to save it and I'll jump to my design review. I think I forgot to show uh, what the icons look like but uh, you see them here. I'll go to open, I'll take this one 
and I will say open. And then you'll notice the 3D version of it as well as um, different views which are normally placed on the bookmarks here. You have the different sheets. Here you have your elevations, you have your plan, and you have your section all combined in one file. Okay, I hope uh, this can be used at least as a small appetizer for trying to uh, use some of the different export options, but uh, maybe also consider it for um, your project when you are tendering and needs to hand over uh, documents for another group. Okay, thank you for listening. Goodbye.